Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel, House of Virgo. I hope you guys had a great refreshing weekend. We're going to take a look and see what your messages are going forward for this week. Okay, if you are new, please smash that like button and do subscribe if you enjoy my readings. Oh, you can also become a member of my channel. And uh, yeah, welcome to, let's see, do we have some new people here over the weekend? Michael Ch Childers, Childers? Uh, Yola Plains, Donita, yes, welcome you guys, welcome, welcome, thank you for being a part of the, the Virgo gang, personal reading, a link is in the description box below, alright, let's get started, so we're kind of looking at, gosh, March 18th through the 24th, okay, you've got twin flames, you have the butterfly, you've got the snake, ooh, it's interesting because this butterfly here, um, my son and I were having a conversation over the weekend and he said to me, if there's a butterfly, what did he say? If there's a butterfly in your garden and it leaves, don't chase the butterfly, just build your garden. Very beautiful. So that when the, the butterflies will come back, but if they don't come back, then you still have a beautiful garden. Right? So I kind of feel like there's a relationship that's possibly evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child, growth. This is a twin flame. You know, let, like let's, I know twin flame is getting such a bad rap. Okay. So we can take out the word for those of you who are like, ugh. Um, this is, there's someone here who is the yin to your yang. There's balance, there's union. You complement each other and we'll get more into see this week who that could be. But there's this snake energy and this feels like more so an energy, okay? There is something malicious that is trying to interfere in this connection, in this relationship, okay? So look, there's the Knight of Cups. Oh, okay, so this week, I do feel like what's happening here is sometimes it's sometimes like they're telling, all right, not sometimes, but they're telling me that like there's there's a person whom someone feels like, oh, that person's a snake. They are like actually like like they're actually, but no, they are possessed by some kind of malicious energy in them. Okay, so this can be fear. This can be uh, gluttony. This could be everything the snake wants is for you to basically devour yourself and no longer exist. Okay, and the and there's a snake energy that is here that is trying to devour a relationship or trick you or and another person to make you think that like not good you know the snake bites and then there's poison if the magician shows up because i just saw that in my mind's eye i feel like there's something here that needs to be looked at there's an energy perhaps of like either a snake is in somebody else's head like a tapeworm in the intestines <laughs> or there's that snake the evil thoughts evil energy negative thinking fearful thinking okay i feel like somebody's being plagued by uh, like there's these negative voices that are like kind of whispering saying um there's another person that's your competition look you know like in Mowgli when the snake his eyes were like kind of spinning around and around and he was trying to put someone in a spell or a, tra a trance like the snake says look over your shoulder Virgo that per somebody's an enemy watch out watch out Virgo this this snake is very clever yeah very clever so it's like I kind of feel like I see there's love a love offer of some sort coming in this week for you from someone and this is going to be like this this person shows up with this zen energy this balance this this good opening their heart giving love there's there's an opportunity here for something to evolve and to grow however I feel like you need to understand that this snake is sinful, you know? The snake tells you you can't trust. The snake says, don't believe it. This, you know, the snake says that person's cheating. And, you know, a snake can be very symbolic for um, like an energy, like in your thoughts. But also the snake can be 
um, like a shapeshifter kind, because shakes, snakes, shakes, oh, shamrock shake, oh, do they have shamrock shakes? I have ADD. So this snake, snakes shed their skin, right? Um, and then they show up as someone new. I just, I don't know, Virgo, maybe you need to sage or you need to pray or, you know, I don't know, do something with some rosaries or some holy water. You need to do something to get some protection from this snake energy or kind of like shoo it away, you know, because I feel like there's a manipulation that might be trying to happen to stop something from growing. And these could be negative thoughts, old tapes playing in your head, or it could be in the form of another person this week. Um, or just the devil itself trying to show up. So there's definitely going to be a love offer from someone that you might even feel because of this twin flame energy that this is like too good to be true. Is this really happening? I don't trust it. But that's not that's not you that's saying that. That's that snake energy. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, right? Okay. So I like this card because this feels like duality, balance. And even like sitting on the butterfly, this almost kind of looks like, you know, butterflies like flapping their wings. Butterflies don't flap their wings at the same time. They kind of like take turns flapping, but it goes so fast that you can't see it. But that's how they get momentum to move forward. If they flap their wings exactly the same, they're just going to stay in place. So this is kind of like the butterfly taking turns to... Um, uh, get somewhere forward go somewhere forward it's in the cards there's someone you could be connecting or you will be connecting with this week where there's this beautiful opportunity for love and growth um exploring each other complimenting each other okay so let me see i just want to yeah see look at that oh my gosh so the sneak energy Snakes, like, it could be for some of you, like, a fantasy in your mind. Um, comes in, like, this, no, you can't commit, you can't trust. Someone's all up in their head. Like, enters into your, your dreams. Maybe you're having bad dreams, or maybe you had a dream of snake. Oh, there, you need to, I feel like this is something you got to pay attention to. Okay? Maybe this is somebody's born in the year of the snake, right? But... This snake is telling you, oh, this person ghosted you because they have somebody else. Or they're going to ghost you because there's someone else. And if you don't have absolute evidence of that, Virgo, then you you can't convict. <laughs> right? You can have a hunch. And sure, circumstantial evidence can convict someone. But I, I kind of, like, I'm not a lawyer. I don't know. But I feel like if you don't have absolute evidence of somebody who is actually doing and, and it's going to be a little hard because the snake is very clever and that snake energy will find a way to cause distress and conflict and sleepless nights you might be waking up from these nightmarish dreams you know and a lot of that is releasing for some of you like trying to get rid of this snake energy shedding this evil energy through your dreams Okay, <clears throat> this message is pretty profound. Okay, so this is a, a new start that's happening in your life, Virgo, this week. I feel like there's something new happening. Even with the world, there's like the, an ending is happening and there's a new beginning with a twin flame or, you know, the yin to your yang or your soulmate or your person. Uh, and, and for others, this is you could be meeting somebody new. There's a love offer either way i don't even want to go down either road okay there there is a love offer coming and this is going to change everything it's it's something here where there's a new chapter starting in your life this week this week and i was just going to say wing and even though we are in um going into the season change here i feel like you know spring is all about the new okay okay this is a surprise. So some of you might actually like be sitting by your garden. You see a butterfly and it's not just any butterfly. It's, I, I don't know if it's monarch or it's just got very interesting detail on its wings. And I feel like you need to pay attention to that. It's a sign that love is coming in. So if you're seeing butterflies or if you, I mean, some of you I know see butterflies all the time and it might not mean anything, but 
if you see butterflies all the time this week, like it, like if you always see them, but you see one that's very peculiar or a little bit like, huh, I haven't seen that in my garden before. Or yeah, you'll know when you know, okay? Because that's a sign. It's coming in as a surprise. And I keep, I feel like butterflies showing up has been a sign for you this whole time that your person is coming. Um, so if you, if like there's a, some type of separation of some sort with someone and you decided, you know, I'm not going to chase the butterfly. They left. I'm just going to build beautiful, grow beautiful new flowers and nurture my garden and take care of my garden and make, you will attract those butterflies to you. Okay. And that's all about like focusing on the self and self care, you being the garden. So yeah, major shift coming for Virgo this week. I like it. I like it. Let's see. Yeah. There's the devil. Okay. Snake, 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 snake. Ask yourself, What's your mindset, right? Are you thinking positively? Um, I feel like this is just an evil kind of sabotager in, as an energy. Um, you know, the devil does not want you to be happy. <laughs> ever. Ever, ever, ever. Now, could this come in the form of like someone who's trying to sabotage a relationship or something new happening for you this week? Yeah. However... <laughs> Even just, you know, that's specific to some of you that have that going on. But even as an energy, the devil is malicious and malaligned, okay? Has evil intent, snake-like energy, uh, slithering. It's just a slithering around, sheds its skin, comes in in a new form. Um, pay very close attention, okay? Because the devil brings confusion, right spirit does not god does not bring confusion the devil does and his whole intention is to confuse you have you lost not seek divine spirit not seek to trust in divine spirit you know um that devil energy is just a nasty mofo and it's showing up this week okay so i don't know it's it's like if you've got some kind of something within you that you need to you know cast out or have move away from you i feel like this week you got to pay attention see you've got some type of text message or phone call or communication coming in from someone it's interesting because they're not showing me who this person i haven't received a court card yet but that's fine because i'll i'll pull some um i'll pull some um cards yeah so i kind of feel like hmm You've got the six, I'm sorry, the eight of swords. So there is an energy here of Virgo. You got some something going on within. Oh my gosh, hold on a second. Yeah, you've got something going on deep within you. I do feel that. Okay, and you have some devil energy that's kind of trying to say you can't do this. You can't um, let anybody in. You can't trust. Maybe you're struggling with some type of mental issue, or you're or you're. You're blind to some things or you, you feel like you've, you've had some, you've had some, you're put in a victim kind of situation. You might, look, it's coming from the snake energy. It's something that you need to cast out or heal, okay? Because there may be offers of love or love that comes in, but you're just blind to them because you have some stuff going on. Um, within you and that's fine um, maybe you just need to like I don't know bathe in some kind of special water or, or do you got to do something to get something you need the evil eye the hamsa I don't know what it is you have so much good stuff happening here Virgo okay I don't know what it is if you need to like read some text or some type of um, listen to something positive cast out that evil devil energy out of your life that's really holding you back and these could be voices from the past this devil energy wants to like keep you separate from spirit and keep you separate from your divine partner your divine one your true love even if right now there there's nobody the devil wants you to keep, wants to keep you down and this is a very spiritual message you guys the devil wants to keep you doesn't want you to be happy doesn't want you to heal okay 
because the three of swords in the reverse is about recovery that's about healing that's about these swords the the heaviness of those handles dropping out so that it can heal no the devil wants to keep poking at your heart and telling you you're not worthy of love you're not good enough um devil's very possessive energy very obsessed with you um, wants to keep you chained in hell and not let you be free and wants to keep your relationship in a in a very like demonic kind of state with someone and that's that snake the snake represents the the actions of the devil okay wants you to feel like you have to compete that you're that even like spirits your enemy uh, or wants to compete or thinks they're competing with spirit or god to have your total affection you know it's very malicious will keep you in doubt um will keep you focused on others that may be a threat you know like it's what the hell this week is very profound truly truly profound some of you need to go in and get an exorcism performed i don't know what the hell's going on here <laughs> or do something yeah you got to do something because i feel like you keep letting this if you're open you're not guarded and protected from this and this keeps coming in you're not going to have all this gloriousness, this, this beautiful, happily ever after love and this whole, like, amazing uh, thing here with someone. Twin flame, soulmate, yin to your yang, couple, like your, your other half. Uh, the, the devil represents fear, too, okay? So, you know, you're either operating out of a place of love or we're operating out of a place of fear. So which is it? because love heals all love is the antidote <laughs> to pain love is the antidote to to fear indifference is is the result the end result of fear in my mind so i just kind of feel like look here's the grief card that's the devil's like yeah let me get let me get virgo in this place of grief let me make virgo constantly sad and in this state of melancholy let me tell Virgo they need to focus on all their losses constantly and stay in the dark and stay dressed in black all the time, which, you know, I'm not knocking that because I love the color. I love, I always wear black, but only because it kind of slims me down a little, you know what I'm saying? But listen, the, the devil's like, no, focus on your losses. That's what the devil does. That's what that snake energy is. Focus on what you don't have, right? But, but spirit's like, no, no, no. This is, you do, look what, this is what I brought to you. This is what you do have here. This, I, I, I'm going to need you to turn around, Virgo. Virgo, I'm going to need you to turn around and take a look. Okay. Don't, if you're confused, if you have confusion at this time in your life about love, it's because that MF is, is taking, playing a huge role in your life at this time and you're letting it you're letting it because you get you're so clever and manipulative and cunning that you, you're having a hard time like wait is what huh <laughs> yeah because it i think the devil can get into your mind i don't think the devil can get into your soul um but he will try to steal it he's a soul stealer we'll try to steal it we'll try okay what other messages here? This is maybe the most profound message I think that <laughs> has come about in quite some time. And we're only twenty minutes into this reading, but I feel like that. And that let me and just one last thing: that devil energy. The devil is a shapeshifter, and it could come in many forms. You're just going to have to recognize it. Okay, it's going to be anything that is not healthy for you. That is anything that is anti good anything that is anti-healthy okay so you have weight timing is not quite right okay why why because you got to get rid of this 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 snaky energy you got to get you got to fight back uh, call on archangel michael to help you battle that right you got to call on the divine and and ask for help to battle it because you won't have success if this little mf -er, who's probably about this small, is um, having like this small, but has like so much power, you got to step on that. <laughs> it's like a little, like a little roach. It's a roach. 
and get rid of it. Oh, look. So I saw this, Past Life Love, and I put it back in the deck and it popped out again. So this is, for some of you, a past life connection showing up here. So that's going to mean either one of two things. This is either someone from your past or this is someone in your past life where you guys are connecting now in this life. So could that be somebody new? It could be. Um, yeah, it could be a past lover or a past life lover. <sighs> children, maybe you knew this person when you were children. This, this beautiful energy, not this snake. This snake is kind of like... Um, they're giving me a song by George Michael. It's something about a monkey on my back. Do you guys remember that? I can't remember how that goes. And I have no idea why George Michael is showing up <laughs> right now. <laughs> Let me see. Um, what the hell is that song? G-E-O-R-G-E. -E, Michael. Monkey. I remember it from like what the 80s I don't know why can't you set your monkey free always giving into it do you love the monkey or do you love me oh I can I count to 10 but I don't know how I know that blah, blah 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 well I'd write your heart a letter but I think you know me better if I keep on asking baby maybe I get whatever I guess that's the song I've had this the rest now it's time I had the best I don't know you gotta like listen to it I can't even remember how the actual melody goes it's from like the 80s I guess I just I don't know they just gave me that so I'm gonna listen to it when I'm when we're finished here but yeah that's the snake that monkey on your back <laughs> oh shoot what's showing up here okay for some of you yeah that, that's what I was saying this just confirms it new love or recommitment to love is developing everything happens for a reason it's time to, to heal Old wounds and childhood issues. Why do I have hair all over me? Old wounds and childhood issues are resurfacing. Um, I want to tell you guys something. So I bought this book um, off Amazon. Do I have the book with me? I don't think I have it. I think it's... Yeah, it's, it's outside. So anyway, it's... I can't remember what it's called, but... It's a book about manifesting what you want... And what you do decide it's basically like the law of attraction it's the book is written by a woman in 1925 and i just love really old text and things like that that was quite some time ago uh 100 years right the level of thinking back 100 years i'll leave a link in the description box below but she talks about if you want to be rich like wealthy if you want to have um the greatest love of your life if, if you want to have like happiness joy freedom she lays it all out like how you can do it all through the power of positive thinking and i know a lot of you understand what that is but um it's kind of like her thing is like act as if you already have all these things that you desire and then you will have them right i'll leave a link it's a very short book it's very small it's very few chapters it's very easy to read and there's some affirmations in the back you know um i just feel like I don't know, I felt the need to bring that up for you, so I'll just leave it there for you guys. Um, it's just all about, <clears throat> it's all about that, right? Okay, so let me see, one more message for the week for Virgo. Okay, somebody's going to come in to apologize to you, whether you expect it or not, and um, uh, part of that apology is going to have something to do with... Um, they feel like they were giving way too much, maybe not giving space or being obsessive or controlling in some way. Now, that kind of feels like that has to do with someone who also has that devil energy because I always like to say that the devil energy is a bit like a virus. Like, like, like you know how they say children are not born to hate? They learn hate, right? Okay, so when we're around people who are very hateful and very negative that kind of finds its way to infect other people who are around them for a very long time right so somebody might be having a little bit of a wake-up call here in regards to their devil energy as well or they've had 
they were doing or acting out of character or out of, out of pocket <laughs> I guess that's the word they're giving me about a, a big you know maybe it infected a relationship okay so they're saying change the subject so you're getting a loan <laughs> there's a loan coming in for you financial loan um, there's also a mature dynamic fiery male who's going to be significant in your life this week you also have the past is returning so that mature dynamic fiery male can be mars ruled or aries Leo sag okay so yeah you've got the past is returning this week and you also have a wish coming true for you there's also a bossy male who's going to be significant in your life <laughs> this week um okay or a boss and you also have to focus too they're saying ask yourself what are your spiritual beliefs will you conform what path are you on to lead you into where you'd like to go check yourself i feel like that might have something like go in the description box below i'll, I'll leave the link for that book i feel like some of you might i don't know there's some they're taking me down some kind of path i don't know the outcome of, of that but i feel like maybe check that out they're saying okay let's try and see if we can figure out the zodiac sign of this new love or a recommitment to love with someone showing up here all right we've got taurus scorpio cancer and capricorn and one more for the road leo aries virgo aquarius okay let's get the chinese signs and see i'm so hungry i need to eat what shall i eat well it, i'm making this video it's dinner time you're listening to this and it's like even the next day or whatever so never mind i'll figure it out you've got year of the ox year of the dog here's a dog again this could be you or your person year of the goat <laughs> year of the snake uh, and don't get me wrong not all snakes are evil like if your person's born in the year of the snake or you are that doesn't make you an evil malicious <laughs> mal maladjusted maligned sicko okay got year of the rat year of the horse year of the goat again year of the rooster and <laughs> there's a snake again and there's a rat again really and year of the pig okay um and it's funny because i was watching um a crime documentary about the woman that tortured her autistic son uh Ar Ar arcana or something her name was Sh shauna something i don't know it was really sad and whenever i watch those documentaries you guys i always look up to see what their zodiac sign is and what their chinese sign is always every single one like i know ted bundy was a sag well he was a cusp you know and um i know like jeffrey dahmer was like a taurus <laughs> like anyway it's my own personal thing but i was looking up her and i don't remember her name fully but she is a pisces goat and I thought, Pisces, a, a Pisces is like a sick psychopath like that. And then I thought, you know, the truth of the matter is that it doesn't, when it comes to that kind of energy, that's a severe devil p demon possession. It doesn't matter what your sign is. It doesn't matter what sign, because that kind of energy is going to show up when the, when there is like a serious like those people there's no hope for them if they if they do th those types of things to children now they need to be like discarded from the earth no mercy sorry okay so showing up here let's get ready my battery's about to die so you have oh this is so pretty look at this the swans coming together oh there's definitely a love thing happening this week for you guys very beautiful don't let it be destroyed by that sneaky devil energy that evil energy okay two beautiful swans look for the butterfly virgo look for the butterfly you also have how cute okay oh shoot there's a butterfly just like i was saying 
And also there's, um, sorry, a turtle here. Okay, so maybe your garden has like a little rock turtle, rock turtles or butterflies, something here specific. The turtle is very slow, but but keeps moving forward. Some of you might have a relationship where it's just taking such a long time and so you're getting frustrated and the devil is telling you don't be patient. Demand, demand, demand. Gets into your ego, you know? Just wait for the, the butterfly will let you know what you, what you need to be focusing on and what's coming for you in your life here. I just feel like pay attention to that sneaky energy, that evil energy so that you'll know what's real and what's not okay you also have love love is in the air a great time for commitment and taking relationships to the next level and here comes that jealousy watch out for that watch who you trust with your personal secrets and plans spend time outdoors with nature to reconnect and replenish all right so that devil does represent jealousy jealousy energy is always associated with the devil and one more for Virgo. You have signs. Your future positive direction will reveal itself. Any doubts and confusions will soon disappear. So look for signs of positive energy. Don't seek messages that you're not worthy or things aren't going to work out for you. That's all the devil talking in your ear, right? And he's very clever. So he whispers very, very quietly devil whispers very quietly telling you you're not worthy you can't have what you want you won't be successful you're not lovable you're gonna fail all that if you let that keep happening then you will manifest what that energy is telling you because the devil's representing the snake represents something symbolic so change it all around positive affirmations I am successful I am worthy I am lovable I do have my dream person. I do have my dream home. I do have my dream career. I do have all the money in the bank. And watch it manifest for you. I'll leave the link in the description box for the, that book I was talking about. And I'm going to leave that right here. I hope that gave you some positive energy right there. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys. Um, this week's been a little freaky deaky for me. So... I'm, I'm going to do my best to make sure I'm here on the days that I'm usually here. But if I'm not, come back and listen to this. Let this be your go-to reading for the week. If I, I'm just like if I'm not here tomorrow night or something, okay? I'm not guaranteeing that it won't be, but just some stuff. You know, life has its way. So yeah, but if you want to get a personal reading, the link is in the description box below. And um, yeah, that's it for now. Love you guys. Have a great week and I'll talk to you later. Hey you guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.